All right, let's go check on the forecast here. Katie, it's about oh. to get real cold. Yeah, certainly already feeling very cold right now, but uh, it's a lot worse, obviously, back across some of those states that were just reported on, and we're going to show you what it currently feels like there. These are your current feels like, though, locally. Uh, single digits, sub-zero up in the Poconos, and teens for the most part, but this is the best it'll be for the next 24 to 36 hours because this kind of cold is what's headed our way. Now, I don't think it'll get quite as harsh as what we're finding in Des Moines, Chicago, nor Minneapolis. My gosh, I can't even wrap my head around what 51 below zero must feel like. But 21 below zero for a feels like is not out of the question for our area. So that's Cleveland's value. Alpena also down into the sub zero by 20 degrees uh, range there. So is St. Louis. So we do sit within that zone here around this entire zone tomorrow, in fact. So Chester, Montgomery, Bucks County, good portion of the Lehigh Valley. When that wind is blowing, it could feel as harsh as 20 below zero and even harsher as you go into the higher terrain. So this is brutal stuff. You don't want to be going out in this if you don't have to, certainly, but uh, that's where we find the harshest conditions. Tomorrow morning, there is a wind advisory in effect as of 11 this morning, so it's a little breezy now, but the wind is only going to get worse from this point through the rest of the day, and uh, we'll see those gusts peaking well into the 30s, likely, as that wind advisory is in effect. Now, Storm Scan 3 is still quiet. I do, however, think that by the time we hit the midday, there's going to be a uh, squall that crosses through, and future weather actually picking up really nicely on this. So more than anything, you've got sun today, but when the squall crosses through, it will briefly reduce your visibility for a time if you've got to travel through it. So right around and shortly after lunchtime is when this is crossing. By 3 p.m., it'll have already crossed a handful of counties. It's zipping right along, and it's not with you very long. But again, if you're traveling in that, you could really see reduced visibility for a short time, though there shouldn't be any accumulation out of that. Later tonight, all clear, just freezing, freezing cold air in place. So let's take a look at the seven day. When do we finally break the worst of this? Again, tomorrow's the harshest, but it's not much better on Friday. The weekend is where we see some real positive change here. More than 10 degrees climb with every passing day. Saturday into Sunday, you're up in the mid 40s. The weekend all in all looks pretty quiet right now, but uh, we are going to see some showers return into early next week. But hey, at least we'll be in the 50s by then. Chandler